This morning, we're heading up to the best view in Ra first. It's July 3rd, and it's still cold. Freaking love these as a kid. There's a ton of parks around here, whether it's outside the museums or just walking along a little river area here. There's tons of little playground equipments, nice bench seating. It's just a great time, especially when the weather's like this. I mean, I just took my jacket off. All throughout June and into July, I was wearing pants and a long sleeve shirt. That is, of course, unless I was going for a hike. We're taking a detour. There's a thing going on. Along with the parks come weekend events and festivals. Sign up for the local Facebook groups to learn about more. We even have bets for sale. I'm gonna walk this. <laughs> the Ron Panorama is a must see. It is a beginner level hike taking no more than 30 minutes, but you can always drive to it if you'd like. I think this is it. So this is the Ron Panorama. It's pretty easy to find on Google Maps, but it's a link down below just in case. Now for the fun part, walking down. When you're looking at it from down in the town, and you're looking up onto the mountainside here, it just looks like it's a little monastery sitting up in the, in the wilderness. But then you get up here and... Nah. Of course, you can never go wrong with the museum. The Rouen Fine Arts Museum is predominantly filled with religious artworks. But being a two-story building, it'll take you about two hours to see everything. The best part is it's free. The quality of French cuisine cannot be overstated. And I'm not only referring to escargot and foie gras, but simple things like fish and rice are absolutely delicious. After that lunch, head over to the Joan of Arc History Museum. The tour shows you Joan of Arc's history. Not only why she's a prominent figure in French history, but why she's still an inspiring figure today. After the museum, check out Joan of Arc's church. It really hits home after you see the history of what happened. And this is where she was burned. And then what's a visit to France if you don't check out its churches?
St. McLeod's Church, built in the 1400s, is considered a jewel of Gothic architecture. In comparison, the Notre Dame de Rouen is considered the pinnacle of Gothic architecture, and in my opinion, it's more impressive than the one in Paris. Check out this clock, it's kind of famous. Our last day style is Le Gros Orlage. This large and intricate clock was built in the 1400s and is still working to this day. It's a beautiful sight, whether you're seeing it in the morning, day, or night. The light show is split between two acts, an artistic one in the beginning and a historic one at the end. Don't make the mistake of leaving during intermission.